everyone, this is day one for our Shred 10. Okay, I'm gonna give you a couple exercises that you can do back to back, it's kettlebells. So, what I wanna do is show you how to properly swing a kettlebell. This is a 20 pound kettlebell. Um, you can do a lot heavier than this, but um, this is what I have right now. So when you do a kettlebell swing, you wanna go through your legs and then up to your shoulder height. And it's your hips that push the kettlebell up ahead of you. You just wanna tighten your, your bottom and push it forward. So I want you to do 20 of these. You can do 20 swings. If you don't wanna to count to 20, you can go ahead and just do 30 or 45 seconds of swinging. After you've done 20, go ahead. And if you like, you can get a different kettlebell. Um, I don't know where they're at. I'll just use this one. And what you're gonna do is an upright row. So you're gonna put your toes out and slightly go down and up to your shoulders, up to your chin, under your chin. And you're gonna do 20 like that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Elbows are leading the way, okay? Elbows are going high. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job. Okay, after you do that, we're gonna do a cardio burn. We're gonna do for 30 seconds. We're gonna go out, out, and in. Just reach down towards the floor. We're gonna do a cardio burn for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna repeat our kettlebell swing and our kettlebell upright rows. Okay, that's 10, 20 seconds. Good, five, four, three, two, one, done. Okay, no need to rest. Take 10 seconds between um, set, um, each exercise, and then go again, through and up. I'm gonna cut it short so that you get the idea. Here's my kettlebell swing, two arms underneath, hips pressing forward, arms going about the height of my eyes, no higher than my shoulders or my eyes. When you're done with that, woo, squat down, pick it up, and go up under your chin. And do another 20. <clears throat> I'm only gonna do half because I wanna show you how to do it without making a long ordeal here. Okay, after you do 20 upright rows, I want you to go back to your out and jumps. We're gonna do that for 30 seconds. I'm watching the clock behind me. Now, if you wanna make this harder, touch the ground each time you squat down. That's it. 20 kettlebell swings, 20 upright rows with the kettlebell, and 20 out and in jumps. Do that, or 30 seconds out and in jumps. Do that three times, okay? See you tomorrow.